Kiev forces based in the Opitne village have opened fire on the territory of the embattled Donetsk airport more than 140 times over the past 24 hours, DPR military spokesperson Eduard Basurin stated. Minister of Defense of DPR registered shelling from 120mm artillery systems, 120mm and 82mm mortars by the Kiev forces. Inherently, Kiev forces have increased activity following an interview of self-proclaimed President Petro Poroshenko in which he said that the war would end when Kyiv regained Donbas and Crimea. This speech has become a signal to the pro-Kyiv military to increase provocations and the violating of the ceasefire. On May 2 last year, the Ukrainian radicals set fire to the trade union house in Odessa, killing 48 and injuring over 200 activists, who refused to recognize the cop-imposed government in Kyiv, clashed with pro-Ukrainian football fan and radicals, including right sector nationalists. Some of the victims burned to death, while others suffocated from smoke or jumped out of the building's windows. Many of those who did jump out were strangled or beaten with bats by the attackers. Officials have already arrested 12 persons listed as terrorists ahead of the anniversary, including 50-year-old Lubov Davichinka, mother of anti-Maidan activists Anton and Artom Davichinka, who have fled to Russia, along with opposition journalist Artom Buzila. Ukrainian authorities have taken unprecedented precautions for the anniversary of the events of May 2. Up to 2,800 police, in addition to 500 personnel from other security organizations and volunteer units are being mobilized in the city. Armored cars and infantry fighting vehicles are set to reinforce them. Governor Igor Palitsa told press that we will respond firmly and sort out whether the detention was lawful or not later. Those who might look even a little similar to the faces on wanted lists will be face checked, so it's best to carry your passports. Minister of Internal Affairs Chief Ivan Katerinchuk added that anyone wearing Sun's George ribbons will be detained. Meanwhile, Moscow has called on the international community to put pressure on Ukrainian authorities over an investigation of last year's Odessa massacre. With a deep concern, we have to state that one year the Ukrainian justice system did not take any tangible steps toward an objective, independent and impartial investigation of this horrific crime in order to bring the perpetrators to justice, the statement by the Russian foreign ministry said. Moscow urged the international community, including human rights NGOs, to decisively and honestly demand Kyiv stage a foreign investigation into the Odessa massacre and correct the glaring flaws in Ukrainian judicial system.